Hello peoples. Today's vlog is going to be from the territory of strength, which is the powerlifting gym that I found in Russia. After this, I've got close grip bench, 65 kilos, and dips, triceps dips. I will also include the deadlifts that I did on Monday. We walk in, we've got some trophies, we've got some benches, combo racks. This is the deadlift platform, this tiny little strip. That tiny little strip, we've got kilos, and uh, U-Steel have not heard of this brand, but maybe it's an Eastern European brand. We've got tripods, amazing. Belts, chains, blocks, tiny little slivers for elevated deadlift or for deficit deadlift foam rollers. Logo, it's time for me to bench. I haven't trained for like a month, so still warming up. I'm gonna do 76 sets of three today. That's my working set. That was the last warm up of 60, and I'm gonna put on some reds. This is the remainder of the gym. We've got leg press, lat pull down, Superman. Ooh, they even have kettlebells. Hey, yeah, if you're watching this, I might do some kettlebell shit, just because there are some kettlebells, and you have requested a kettlebell video. We've got a hyper, more reds, bump plates, block, another rack with the TRX, dumbbells, cables, uh, and, and a hamstring curl. This is like a warm-up area. I'm not sure what this table is for, but it's soft-ish. Maybe it's for abs? I have no idea. We've got a rack for flies with cables, a bunch of baby bars, and more dumbbells, and a treadmill. Oh, this is also <laughs> an elliptical. I'm not sure if they have a rowing machine, but... Rowing, rowing machine. But yeah, pretty sweet. Tiny little cozy gym. I like it. This is Victor. I think he's a trainer here. <coughs> I like the art. The art is pretty cool. Okay, let's load the reds. Yeah, if you don't train for a month, shit up here is heavy. Uh, this is a broken chip. Okay. Cool. That was a trap. <laughs> or maybe I've gained too much weight. Just break things when I sit on them.
peanuts. You just have two to six of these. Easy. Молодец, давай. Молодец. Жесть. Practice my English language. Okay, you can put your English language practice now. This is Victor. Victor is a coach here and he's trying to coach a bikini. He's trying to put this bikini check into powerlifting and then, yes, exactly. <laughs> and then, who else do we have? Who else do we have? Okay, we have another powerlifter and another powerlifter. And the bodybuilding is a powerlifting. He calls it aesthetical powerlifting. Когда мы поднимаем большие веса, но больше следим за питанием и, естественно, за качеством oh, тела, okay. чтобы быть в хорошей форме всегда. Okay. Живо плоский живот, стройные подтянутые бедра. Okay. So he calls it aesthetical powerlifting, which means they are lifting heavy, but they are watching their nutrition a little bit more peculiar than powerlifters do, and they try to maintain uh, I guess a flat tummy and uh, shapely hips. That's a very interesting way to put it. А при чем здесь живот? Живот, он же Но обычно же живот. Поэлифтинг это всегда большой живот. Часто, часто, часто. This is powerlifting is always a big belly, and I'm like no. Повышение внутрибрюшного давления достаточно специфическая вещь. Плюс наложенная на профицит. Обычно дает большой живот. Okay. Поэтому если каждую весовую категорию посмотреть, особенно выше среднего, это okay. живот. That's, that's true. He says if you are bulking or if you compete and you are a competitive powerlifter, typically you kind of gain some weight in the belly because of the, the intra-abdominal pressure? И слушай, не согласна, что давление в животе дают тебе большой живот. Ну, плюс много, много жира тебе дают большой живот. И... И okay. The pro... so complexe. Diet profit or uh, extra extra calories in the diet gives you a big belly. We have agreed. Давай. Давай, Давай, Ты в школе учишься? Да. Блин, как круто. Окей. We have a high schooler here. That's nice. Oh, so that's a nice bench for a bikini girl. Oh, beautiful. И давно занимаешься пауэрлифтингом в школе? Half a year she's been powerlifting. Круто, я тоже хочу. Нормально. Подтяну потихонечку.
good, Jim. One thing I did not like is that coach is kind of handsy with the girls. Uh, like everybody's hugging and everybody is very touchy-feely, which is kind of normal, more normal in like um, post-Soviet countries. People are, when they know each other, they're more warm and they can be like holding hands, sitting on each other's laps. But if it's coach and the trainees that are like high school or university, that's a little, a little iffy. So yeah, outside of that, good gym. Uh, guys just arrived and guys were just warming up so I didn't really see guys training I think according to the girls the majority of the guys are working so they come to the gym in the evening I will not come to the gym in the evening unless I'm busy during the day so I'm probably gonna be hanging out with the girls which are very sweet very very sweet and shy um, Unfortunately, nobody wants to gain weight. This is the back of the gym. The gym is in that house. And I hope this is temporary. I hope the trash is going to be picked up together with other trash cans. Honestly, you have grocery stores in the back of the houses. So these are pretty convenient, but kind of dirty. Less dirty than when I was growing up, honestly, but still not, not ideal. Your typical Soviet house blocks. Ooh, Beerskerville. I think they're trying to say Baskerville. And the obsession with Sherlock Holmes shows there. Do you want to go check out the Beerskerville? 